Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel. Today we've got an Irish reel called the Silver Spire. <laughs> Spire is a well-known and well-loved Irish reel. As regards the meaning of the title, it was recorded in 1931 by Paddy Kiloran and I think this was the first known use of the title and it was the same year that the Empire State Building was completed. So it's quite possible that they named uh, the tune after the, uh, the Silver Spire that was uh, this new tower block. Um, so let's go through it nice and slowly and I'll show you a few ornaments as we go along. So we're going to start off, um, it's in the key of D, on a D. Now here uh, we've got uh, a pair of triplets. If you don't fancy doing those triplets because uh, you're playing it too fast, then try this. tricky phrase and then we got another triplet leading in and that's an up bow slurred then down to bottom A Into, the, into that D. Okay, let's try that with the back end. See if I can find just a few little variations and uh, perhaps a few more ornaments. So you could do a little bit of a dro uh, an A drone, if you like, on the the opening chord. Incidentally, I'm playing this absolutely straight, as far as I can tell. By which I mean, I'm not doing. That is what I would call uh, played with swing. Some reels lend themselves naturally to be played swing and some lend themselves naturally to being played straight. And in, I think the majority of fiddle players who play these tunes never give a moment's notice to whether they're playing straight or swung, which I think is interesting in itself. Uh, but yes, I, I suggest you play this straight. There I'm just um, bringing the bow off after that G, as opposed to slurring into the next one, which you could do. If you want a bit 
syncopation. When we get to the beginning of the second half, um, I will give a, a, quite a lot more weight to that first note. And try and think of the whole four bars as a single phrase because it's rising all the way from here um, and I think you should give that uh, a lot of meaning as you're going through that. So I'm rising in volume as at the same time as I'm going up. And notice how we're coming down again. And uh, actually, now I come to mention it, I wonder if this tune was actually written uh, with the, um, the building of the tower in mind. I've no idea if it's an older tune or not, but it does seem remarkable that we've got four bars going up and then four bars coming down again. several recordings uh, of this tune um, with banjo and quite a lot of improvisation and I love those and in fact I did a version of this uh, with Leon Hunt on my um, solo album and um, you'll hear a bit of that at the end and I think this is a really good tune to do that on the the B part in particular just lends itself I I'm just going to run through uh, once and I will um, do a bit of that improvisation just to see what it, see what happens. the dots then subscribe and send me an email and my email address is at the bottom of the description below and you may be interested in the fact that I've got a full Irish fiddle course at the Academy of Folk so check that out um, and I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you again in the next tune.